Hello everybody, another Milady meme coin and market overall update. Scary, scary situation. Everything is red, everything is down quite a bit actually. It's part of the whole thing. You need to stay calm in these horrible periods. We don't see any positive news coming in soon. It's tough to see the portfolio go down. I'm sure it's tough for you, it is tough for me. But I have conviction in crypto that we will bounce back. It's going to take probably a couple of weeks. This window between the halving and, you know, a month, a month and a half. We want it to be flat or maybe even go up a little bit. It has not been the case. We have been correcting. But I believe it's temporary. The halving effect will come in. The ETFs will help in that. Right now, there's a lot of panic, a lot of uh, liquidations. A lot of leverage that needs to be cleared out. A lot of people are shorting Bitcoin right now. So you have to be patient. Milady is holding at the support level, but we have corrected already quite a bit. It's positive, but like I mentioned, it's not fun. You need to be tough and calm in these periods. It's not easy for me. I'm sure it's not easy for you. It's a little scary. It's scary for me. I'm building my experience towards you know getting to a four year experience where I have seen everything and gone through all the emotions and stay calm throughout it and have faith in the system and have faith in the fact that previous history most probably will occur later this year. Like I mentioned, the month after the having sometimes we have corrections, sometimes it was even flat and sometimes it went up a little bit. In this case there's a correction. We have the grayscale dumping continuing, liquidations going strong, economic factors that are not helping, everything like that. But Bitcoin crypto has not changed and we continue on. I think you have to build your experience right now to be able to stay calm and wait for greener days in the upcoming weeks. So here Milady is at support. We're pretty happy about that. Let me check the other brick. How's brick doing? Yeah, so brick went under the support. Now we're bouncing a little bit. So he went lower than expected. It happens. The market is down quite a bit, so it's normal. Let's look at one of the favorite also LTCN. You see here LTCN found support on the ME50. So that's quite positive. We may go down a little bit under still today maybe or we stay there. That's something that could happen. This is the Litecoin, the Grayscale Litecoin Trust, BCHG. So the Grayscale Bitcoin Cash Trust has corrected a little more than that. It's under the MA50, a little more bearish. We'll see how it behaves. So we're pretty much back at levels in March 2024. I know that's a lot of volatility, but this is crypto. So for those who did not have the opportunity to get in in March, we have, again, another possibility before the having event effect, if you win, if you will, once Bitcoin bounces back. Nothing has changed from Bitcoin. And I'm expecting it to do as it has done in previous cycles. It's inevitable. The supply is lowering. People are losing coins every day. And every time people start buying, it diminishes the supply. And the price can only go one way. It's up. That has not changed. Bitcoin has not changed. Therefore, my conviction towards Bitcoin, altcoins, and crypto in general has not changed. I have selected the horses that I want for 2024 and 2025 and I'm sticking with it. It's painful, it's not easy to see a lot of red in my portfolio but you can also imagine what the portfolio looks like of people like Michael Saylor who has a 200,000 Bitcoin, people who have in the millions of crypto how their portfolio looks like the numbers can get really crazy really fast, but you still have to keep your calm and evaluate the situation in a calm matter and decide what to do. Most of the new people that came in in 2024 
will be scared and will sell off. But if they do not catch the bounce back, they're going to have to buy assets higher. So just be aware of that. I'm not telling you what to do. You need to build your experience. You need to decide what to do. You need to deal with the emotions of these volatile assets. You can learn a lot about volatility and the emotions associated with them in crypto. And when you go back to uh, trading Apple or uh, Tesla or other stocks or Nvidia, you will see that it's a lot less volatile, easier to handle, and this will help you as an investor. So keep that in mind, just an update like that. It's not fun for anyone, but you still have to make your decisions on what you want to do. I'm staying put, that's not financial advice. You have to decide what is best for you. See you all in the next one.